This is Chris Ream, and these are the seven habits of a highly effective life insurance guy. First, you begin with the end in mind. That's how much death benefit is required to provide the cash flows to support your family or to accomplish whatever it is while you're buying this insurance. Second habit is choose the right length of term. How long do you want this coverage to last? Habit three is determine how this policy should be owned. There's a lot of tax implications in how you own the policy is the short explanation there. Um, then you have to select the right product type. You've got a myriad of different products, lots of bells and whistles. You have to pick the right one. Uh, then the, then you want to, the habit five is make, make sure you're getting the right underwriting class that you deserve. There's really not a lot of game playing, but there are a lot of mistakes. So it's not the crook that we fear in modern business. It's the guy who doesn't know what he's doing. And I don't necessarily mean the agent. It could be the underwriter. So you have to be actively involved and make sure you're getting the right underwriting class. Um, then you, habit six is to determine the most efficient premium funding. Uh, like for term policies, for term policies, it's easy. The premium, you really can't negotiate that. But for permanent insurance, the, the premium is often flexible and should be designed to integrate with your overall financial plan. As I say, if you have a flexible, indeterminate premium product, you should have me or someone who knows as much as me advising you every year before you pay that premium. 